Dean, thank you for joining me. Uh, tomorrow we play Weymouth at home. Uh, how are you feeling going into it? Yeah, we're looking forward to the game. Um, I think we've had a, a progressive week in training, especially towards the Friday. Uh, it's more focused on our opposition and how we want to play against them. And we want to focus on their, our strengths and their weaknesses. And the players' attitude has been uh, excellent. And we're all looking forward to the game. I mean, as you mentioned there, full week of training. Uh, how are the lads faring in, going into it? Yeah, look, it's been a bit early in the week. It was, you know, there was a bit of turmoil around the camp. Um, but all in all, our players' attitude has been spot on. Um, and I think it has been all season. Um, but, yeah, from my point of view, um, I think the players are trying really well. Um, but let's see how we get on a Saturday, because that's where we're judged. That's what it's all about. Um, Saturday's all about trying to gain three points. Uh, by hook or by crook. And can you shed some shed some light on on, uh, on any players who who are out or coming back from injuries? Yes, I can. Yes, uh, long term injuries. Um, you have Jamie Torley, uh, club captain, and you have uh, Jake Askew, both progressing really well. Um, I spoke to the performance team and medical team this week about it. They're both doing really well. Um, obviously, Jamie's a key player for us. Um, Aston Oxford and Joe Witherston are both out with niggles. We just don't want to take any risks when it comes to. You know, when it comes to Saturdays, there's no point in, in, in you know, making things worse. So they'll be out for a, probably till the middle of next week, if not a little bit longer. So we'll take no risk with them too. And uh, Reach Green is back with the group. West Fong looks back with the group, which is fantastic news. Uh, they're both going to be key players who's going forward. Uh, we've managed to put a friendly in next week so they can play in that because they need that game. Wes has been out long term. Reese has been out with a hamstring. He, he's fully recovered. He's trained most of the week. Um, and I think we've left out. I think we left five players out of the squad as well today. So we have got a lot of strength and depth within the squad, and it's a good opportunity for some of the lads that probably haven't been playing recently to come into the team and uh, show us what they can do. I mean, when the players take to the pitch on uh, on Saturday, what are you expecting to see from them? Um, I want. Oh, it's very important. We have to do what we're good at. We have to. We have to earn the right to do what we're good at. We have to give our supporters something to sing about. You know that's really important, and that means making tackles, being aggressive in our play, um, getting in the opposition's face, and then we can play from there. I think that's very important, and hopefully that's sort of the game plan towards Saturday. I don't want to give too much away because I know Stocky's probably watching. So, uh, but we've got to express ourselves. We we really have to. The lads have to walk their socks off, you know, and uh, that's all we're asking. All you can ask of any any person is to give a hundred percent, and that's all we're looking for. We signed Rob Hall on uh, d during the week. Is he expected to uh, make an appearance uh, against Weymouth? He'd be in the squad. He's in the squad, Harley. Got a lot of talent, Harley. Um, he's been in with us for the last three weeks, really, um, training with us. So he's had a solid, we've sort of done a mini pre season with him. Um, and this week, we, obviously, we've offered him a deal and he's accepted. So we're delighted he's joined. Um, he's something that we haven't got. He's left footed. Um, he can come on the inside, he can go on the outside. He's a great set piece taker. Um, he's got some fantastic attributes. Um, and he's a really good lad. He's local, which is very important. I think from re from a recruitment point of view, we try to recruit local players. Um, and he's, uh, he's he's delighted to be here. So looking actually ahead to our opposition on uh, on Saturday, what are you expecting from Weymouth? Well, they're in fine fettle, aren't they? You know, let's be honest. They've done a great job. Stocky's done a great job. Uh, they they've got ten points from seven games. Um, they drew at Notts County recently. Who obviously we know are the top side and very ambitious and looking to grow this division. Um, as well as that, they've been solid all away, another ambitious side. So they're a good side. Uh, they've got a, a, they've got a total football philosophy. They want to play football. They want to play in the right way, and they're well coached. Uh, they've got plenty of ability, some good speed within their team. So we know their strengths, but they also have weaknesses as well. It's, it's their job, well, my job, to make sure that we expose their weaknesses. We've got two big home games coming up. What impact can the fans have on the, on the results? Yeah, our supporters can have a big impact, but we have to give them something to sing about. And that's the truth. Our players have got to go out there, like I say, fight, boy, battle. We've got to give everything for our short. We've got to come off where we're drying. Their players have to do that. We have to do that collectively. Um, but it's very important what you've asked there. We can only take one, one step at a time, one game at a time. We're fully focused on Weymouth. Um, we we'll look after that one next week. We can only affect today. That's, that's my thought process, and that's what I'm trying to drum into the players. We want to create a positive environment around our football club. That only comes with results. It's as simple as that. You know, it'll always be doom and gloom at every football club if you don't win football matches. Um, so it's my job to guide our team and our players and get our supporters to sing. Um, and the only way they're going to sing and get the place rocking is by winning football matches.